Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it's lovely to have you here. I hope you're all well. Why? Well, I started filming this video <laughs> a few days ago. So as you probably noticed, I have been um, missing in action. And uh, yeah, I'll explain why later on in the video once we get going. Um, so today won't be scrappy make, today will be what I was going to do with this video. Um, for the Friday video and um, Sunday will be scrappy makes. So um, if you remember, I think it was Tuesday, was it, that we put this together or was it, could have been Monday even. Was Tuesday the, I lose track. <laughs> no, Tuesday I didn't film, did I? So it must have been Monday. Um, yes, yeah, so we put it together out of random papers that were just um, in my file folder waiting. I've got a file folder full of papers waiting to be, um, to be used up. So we just created um, a journal in that video and we filled it with one or two um, pockets on belly bands and things that we've made here yeah, the day before so um, I said I was going to find a topper for it and I did I, I didn't like anything that I had in in stash and I don't have many in stash to be honest so yeah I'm sure I've said before I need to make some uh, toppers ready so I really need to do that might have to get on with that soon um, but I did create um, well, what set me off was this one that we made. Do you remember? Yeah, I did make that on, on camera. Um, but I just thought, it, I mean, it goes lovely on the outside. I love it on the outside of the journal. But I just thought it was a bit too um, too bright and pink and, and you know, uh, I don't know, frilly? I don't know. Just too, too light coloured, I guess, for the journal, which is, you know, kind of more grungy. Um, kind of eclectic my kind of thing so I wanted something like that um, I made I made a few more when I made that one but the, you know they're all kind of you know pretty and frilly that one was a little bit on the small side that one would have gone um, but I found these as you can see there's one behind there um, that I made I think I made them in a mass make if not the, the beginning of this year then the end of last year yeah loads of them um, and I've used a few but I've still got What's that, the pile? Yeah. Still got quite a few to use up. So I started messing about with those. Um, I put a couple of them onto, just onto some scrap paper, some uh, coffee dyed or tea dyed, um, that's like drawing paper out of my scrap box. And um, then I started adding bits of fabric. This one's halfway done again, not quite finished. And um, this one I did get finished. And I liked it on here but it needed a border so I just popped it on some hessian or burlap whichever you like to call it so that's that's the topper I have got um, a journal word that I will I'm thinking of um, backing it in black I don't know matting it onto some black and just popping that on there and um, because it is a just a quick make journal as you know using up things um yeah so that that's that I put the ribbon through it as well. It's not glued on at the back yet, but it will be. I just wanted to glue it under that to give it a bit of a bit of strength there. So that's where we're at. And then um, I opened it, starting having a look, started having a look. Um, you know what we'd done and where where I was going with it. And there was two of these envelopes in it, which I'd used to stop um, glue sticking. I'd stuck like a butterfly. No, <laughs> not that one. That's on the page. I stuck something in various pages. And, and I popped these in um, and I took them out ready to put them away and I thought oh well they will be nice they'll be nice in here as uh, well to start with I thought it was pockets just put them down as big pockets and then I thought well it's an, an envelope with a hinge Let, let's have it as as a flip out okay and I started doing that on video <laughs> I think I'd said most of that once um, and I, I got to here was this one I was putting on it yes um, I got to here and then my phone died. So I got a right way up here yeah, that way. Yeah, my phone died, so I went, had to stop and go charge my phone. And um, while my phone was charging, the pump on the heating died. <laughs> Would you believe? I'm going to stick this in here. Do I want it right in? So they're all different ways up these flowers, but I think that's probably the way up I'm going to go. Um, and I'll use some colour, I think. So yeah, you can imagine <laughs> that that sent us into a spin in this temperature because it was uh, in the minuses and oh Denise, that's open way too high. And yeah, after messing about with it and playing about with it, we discovered it. Well, 
the pump, it was only the pump that was not working. The the uh, hot water was working. The boiler was still working. Thank goodness. That way up, yes. Um, I should I can pull that over yet? Yeah, that's it. Have I got a cloth? I must have a cloth somewhere. Yeah. But but the pump pumps the water to the radiators. Oh, I'm a bit too far over there. Upstairs. <laughs> so um, downstairs. Yeah, downstairs, strangely enough, you'd think gravity would feed them, wouldn't you? But no, the upstairs uh, radiators were working and the hot water was working, but the downstairs radiators, absolutely stone cold. And they were stone cold because we were minus two that day. Anyway, we fiddled about with it and turned it off and what have you, and it came on again. So we, obviously we went online and read up a bit, little bit about it. I want that a solid piece as well. Um, well, that's good, I've got practically to the end. Do I want to... No, I can't, can't believe that I just touched the end exactly. Wow, if I'd have tried to have done that, I want to manage it. Um, yeah, and apparently it's a thing, well it could have been that the pump was frozen in the cold weather, but I don't think that was the case. I think it had just um, over or got stuck or overheated. So, you know, I said to him, well, if it's overheated, let's leave it a little while and turn it on again. And we did, and it cranked up straight away. So, <laughs> not wanting to have the plumbers out and the whole thing taken apart and pay a fortune this close to Christmas, we are hoping, or were hoping, that it would that would be it it was just a one-off a freak but no the next day it did exactly the same thing we'd had it on all day and then um, late in the afternoon it stopped again right what do I want on the front of this which bit's going to show that's going to be the inside so has it got no it's had sticky on it so it doesn't want covering but it's for writing on I think so we just want some Anything too thick, what we've got in here. Um, but we did the same thing, we turned it off and let it cool down, and yeah, it um, same thing again. So, obviously, something's happening to it when it gets hot. So, yeah, it's broken and it needs fixing. But we've got what we've we got 10 days to Christmas, so we're kind of hoping, <laughs> hoping we can just make it limp through until the new year and. Uh, Nice thin piece, but I really just want something to write on. I just want plain, that looks like old music. I've got lots here, don't worry. I've got some boxes and boxes and boxes. Oh, files and files and files, I should say. What's in this one? Yeah, because I went mad <laughs> tea and coffee dying. These are all quite thick though. I don't really want it that thick, that's the thicker stuff. In the greenhouse, as you know, all summer. Uh, any more that's coffee dyed? No, no. I've got this. What's in here? No. I don't want to stop the camera. I can if I have to, but it's just a matter of me looking through folders. So if you can just bear with me, that would be brilliant. What's in that one? I've got so many pages of things here. Oh, I want some coffee dyed paper. You wouldn't think it would be that difficult, would you? If I've got Miss Grat Box. I had all those book pages, didn't I? Right, bet there's something here that will fit that, do you think? Let's see. Yeah, so, but obviously we were, you know, we were behind with filming, but we were behind with life in general after that because it took the whole day well that's a nice piece are you going to film there well i could ink around the edges and just make that fit quite like that on there i mean that's the width of the paper isn't it unless i've got any the other way yeah, i've got bigger pieces but i do like that i'm going to go with that i like it so i'm going to use it just pop those down on the floor. Yeah, if I ink this round, a bit of good ink round. Yeah, so that's where I've been. And then, of course, um, I, I 
came on to film and as always I wipe what's on my film before on my camera before I start again so that my uh, you know my camera doesn't stop because it hasn't got enough space on it and I wiped off the beginning of this video so yeah maybe it wasn't meant to happen this video but here we are having another go <laughs> I really want to get this uh, oops I'm sorry I'm wobbling you yeah, this, this journal oh you are they just turned over completed and off my desk ready for you know, mum coming to stay yeah probably needed a little bit more than that so where's the brush there it is that's just it's, it's quite white on the back if it was really well tea dyed or coffee dyed wouldn't bother me but it's got some some very white bits there a bit too bright whoops let's have a look that's better yep that's better so I think if I go down that line I know I've inked it I'll have to ink it again but there's a nice line on the paper to cut down which is always good <laughs> quite stuck to it but not far off I think that might be that no a little bit more so we need to be inside the line let's use the nicer scissors I've got used to them <laughs> they used to feel a bit strange to me these scissors when I first got them they didn't quite feel right but I think it was me just changing from one one pair to another. Yeah, just about there. Needs a must be a bit narrower at the top, I'm thinking. Just needs a real thin slither. Yes. And again I need to move it about so I'm going to do it with Kalal <laughs> because I can always do the oh, I can always do the edges with the uh, oops just wets the paper but we've got time for it to dry and any edges I haven't caught I didn't ink that now did I I'll do with the, the art glitter I'm out of practice it was two and a half if not three days now since I've you know been in here and filming uh, crafting I mean I often I know I don't film every day but I craft every day but I haven't been <laughs> yeah my corner wasn't caught didn't think it was That's it. Right. Let's get me flat. Let's get me roller. Let's try this little gadget. So I hope you guys are all well and you haven't had any <laughs> unforeseen issues. Um. Yeah, as you know, I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't all that organised and ready for for the holidays hitting anyway so that really threw me into a tailspin a bit so is that dry enough do you think to fold might as well fold it on the fold that's already there hadn't I the trouble with folding it when it's not dry is you get a, a funny crease in you no it's not too bad so ooh, what got me there so it's going in there and it's opening like that. I'm having it sealed closed. That's what I was trying to think. Is it going to be open or closed? It's very gloopy up there. It's going to be closed, so let's do that. I have a nice pocket at the front. It's taken me a little while, but I'm here and I'm crafting. <laughs> That's the main thing for me. Right, do I want... I should have one thought about if I wanted a, a notch in it. I don't think I do actually, because it's probably have something long in it, won't it? So it long and thin. Let's not rip that. So yeah, I'm pleased with the uh, the colours. So, what do we want to do on the front now? I'm wondering if just to put some stenciling on it, and then maybe. 
just want to colour some of those white bits in a little bit. My stencils are here, aren't they? Because I had them last time I filmed. Yes. Now we're going to go for the brown. I think we will. So this is um, vintage photo. And I literally want just a few swirls in some of the white spaces. Not too much, just a, a real hint. Oh, <laughs> does that look like a pair of sunglasses? And then just so it's not all on the white, a bit of something there. That's pretty. Let's have a dark piece on there. Yeah, that's it. Bit here. Go on then. <laughs> that's the thing about this swirly. I love that pattern. Yeah, that's nice. Now. Uh, let me just have a look. Just want to look at these. Now these are nanines. Oh, were these nanines? Did nanine have the men and Tanya have the ladies? Oh, this might be from the original kit by nanine. Obviously they've got glue and things. It's not glue, it's, um, what is that? <laughs> it's paint and ink dabbed on them and colours and... No, I'm not feeling him. I just wondered, wondered if he would go on, on there and it's a bit more botanical, isn't it, than that. So um, the Tim Holtz people, probably not either. What did I want on it? That's for the inside envelope. Can't, if you remember, I was going to stick that on that green envelope as a pocket, which I will. So what do I want on the outside of here? Decisions, decisions, right. Let me have a little look. Um, where's that box that had all those in? I wonder if I used them all. I, um, I had these, all these little um, pieces of ephemera and I've stuck them all onto, just onto black backgrounds. Um, I was using up stash from my uh, scrap box. I suppose I could take one off. Again, they're not particularly botanical though, are they? I've not really been working on botanical, so I've not got anything out there with me. I've got stuff here I can reach. Oh, birds. Some nice big birds here. And what else? Stickers. Have a look, we've got stickers wise now. Got that huge mushroom, sorry. It's just that they glare on you. We want some greenish, big greenish. Oh, that's nice. That's probably about the biggest sticker I've got. Let's pop them all. I'll get that out, but I doubt very much I'll be. But let's look at these big birds. Now, I'm quite liking that there, as I put it there, so we'll see. Yeah, they're too big next to that one there. So, yeah, I'm definitely thinking that's that's going to be nice. Let's ink the edge of this to, to frame it a little bit. A bit grungier. And, um, yeah, maybe a label and then leave it plain for journaling or decorating or whatever the owner would like to do with it. And maybe a word up top, let's see. So let's put this on here. Um, tape. I need a piece of sellotape to get the backing off that. <laughs> Save me spending three hours trying to peel it. Lovely. Straight away. Oh, don't want to come on the sellotape now. Alright, you stay there. So I've started at the short edge. I should have probably started at the fat edge, but come on. Simba is downstairs, if you're wondering where he is. He is uh, 
learning to <laughs> relax after a mad half an hour. He's still a little bit nocturnal at the moment, so I don't know if that's got something to do with the house he's come from or, uh, you know, just his nature. But yeah, he loves to come to bed with us on a night and so he hunkers down on his allocated <laughs> fleece at the bottom of the bed but three o'clock in the morning he's like I think we should get up and eat and bomb around the house and play with my toys <laughs> yeah so it's like having a new baby isn't it training a training a, <laughs> do you train new babies <laughs> you know what I mean I like that so let's have a look what word we might uh, we might pop on the top let me just move my phone because i've got my timer going being good i have to admit um, my legs have been really good well fairly good quite good <laughs> these last few days that i haven't sat here and um uh you know been sat for hours on end at my desk so a mm, bit too fancy that one yeah i am thinking that probably it is sitting at the desk that, that's aggravating. I think it's aggravating my back, which is aggravating, you know, that trap nerve, which sends my legs uh, limited edition. I always like that one. Let's have that. And it's backed ready for me as well, so it's good. Yeah, so that's kind of proven to me that it is sitting at this desk. I don't think it's the chair, I think it's the leaning forward all the time. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. Um, I'm going to do one in the back as well, so I hope you're not bored watching me doing the same thing twice. But I really need to get on with it and get it done. And then we can fill it and put the pretties in. So the whole thing is made then, isn't it, once it's got its front and back flap. Shall I stick that on? Why are you sticking there? Oh, it's got a lot of something on it. Oh, it was from there. It was sticky, wasn't it? Right, I won't stick it on. I will leave it open and let that properly dry. I think it is now, but I won't risk it. Yep, I'll leave it open before I stick it on. So let's... Where was the other envelope? There it is. So make sure we're flipping out the right way. So I'm going to flip out that way. So what did I do? I cut... Yep, cut that. Let's see if I do it the same twice. I've got a lot of tools out on my desk. Let's uh, remove some of them and ephemera. Okay. That's better. We've also got the lid off this. Lost my uh, rhythm. <laughs> yes, I did have some. <laughs> Uh, did I glue that down first or did I know? No, because I opened it up, that's what I did. I opened it up, did you remember? That's what I did first. Come out the way so I can... Oh, this one seems to be even stronger than that one was. Oh, it's not so bad once you get it going. Oops. Don't go too thin there. So I've got, I've got loads of these envelopes in a, um, I think it was a car boot shop, car boot haul one day, um, and I, I tea dyed about half of them, so I've got lots of them still to go out. I didn't do them all because often we tea dye envelopes and then completely cover them, so <laughs> yeah, that's a waste of time, but I've only got the tea dyed ones to hand at the moment I'd have to go and hunt for the other ones write papers so did I show you that I had these I can't remember if I did or not so these were um, spare digitals that I've got with um, you know not backed so they're all white on the back so they're not ready to go into journals unless I either print on the back or Where's that gone? I don't remember moving that when I tidied up my tear ruler. Have you seen it? Hmm. 
don't think I've had it out, have I? So, here it is. Here it is. What was I saying to you? Oh, about the papers for the journals. Yeah, so I've, I've not back to these yet. I've saved them for... Um, well, this, for putting on single-sided things. Or... Oh, collaging. Well, we're going about there. We need that to fold over. Yep. Let's see how good I can do this. I mean, I can always trim it so it's better too long than too short. I can move it in and out a bit as well. I might just trim that top edge ever so ever so slightly just so that the envelope folds over nicely on it that's it i don't particularly want the blue underneath it showing oh, i wouldn't show anyway would it so so i could practically go all the way let's just ink the end of this in case it ends up right on the end good fortune again and this, I don't think I did this last time, did I? Just getting into my stride now. Yep, so let's see if I can get any better with this call out. <laughs> I'm still on the big bottle. And uh, I'm on a, not buying any more glue ban until the new year as well. Well, I'm hoping to last until February. January is going to be a, an expensive month. This month was with the carpets and the decorator and what have you, and Christmas. <laughs> but January is going to be, oops, yeah, that way. Probably a boiler fix. Oops. And another carpet. and a big winter electric bill, <laughs> electric and gas bill, because I only get those every three months. So so the end of January is always a biggie. Oh, I am right on the edge again. Impressive. Okay, and then what did we do here? We cut that down. Close that call out. How am I doing for time? Oh, goodness me. Where does the time go? I wish I could speed myself up like you can the videos. <laughs> so that I could get twice as much done. You know, in half the amount of time. So that, uh, yeah, I've got other jobs in the house to do still. Just never ending. I think it's partly new house as well as getting ready for uh, Christmas. Um, obviously the house needed a lot doing and I'm only doing it slowly. I can't rush at these things, so. Right, what's going to be stuck down that is, so we don't need to ink it there. But we do need, which way are you going? Going on that way. We need this covering, don't we? before we glue it down. Is that right? Yeah. Is that what I did there? Yeah. I left the back of that. Yeah. Oh yeah, because that's going to be glued down, isn't it? Right, that's let me. I've lost me. Right, that's the bit that's going to be bent over. That's what's going to be glued down. You're going to be flattened down and covered. So all of this wants covering. Okay, I got there in the end and did I find something for that one? I think I had some of that checked. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, same same problem. It won't quite be tall enough. What did I do? Did I just ink? Yeah, I just grunged it. Grunged it. Did it. Just somehow seems bigger. It is ever so slightly. Okay, right. Um, yeah, 
I don't want it that small. I've got some straw paper. Oops. Oh, I've got this. I've got this look from because uh, uh -oh, <laughs> it's on the front. Angie Beaumont. So she sent me some what she called seconds bits that broke. Let's have a look at the size. That one will be perfect. Lovely. So yeah, some of it's avocado dyed this is quite a pink hue so i'm thinking this might be and some of it is i think she said onion skin i don't know where the bend is is that it there yep yeah. right let's see if i can rip this well oh not bad that's a small piece compared to that am i doing the right piece no because she wanted it over all of that denise Ah, uh, uh, did you know? Let me just get some, let me get it all out and then I can see a piece that's wide enough. Because like I say, these are the, the outtakes that she kindly sent me. Bless her cotton socks. That's better. Right, shall we do all of it this time? I, did, I thought it was, I should have stopped when I thought, oh, that's a bit, it looks a bit narrow, but I was concentrating on the ripping. Oh, I'm going to have to make a buckle or something with those lovely strips that I've pulled off. Lovely. So I'll ink round again because there is a little bit showing. But that will frame it nicely. Covering it is also going to stop this crease from being a bend. So I'm just gluing it down. I'm wondering if I should glue stick this. That might be uh, less messy and more. Oh, look at that lovely. Oh, which side to use? Which side to use? What a decision. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Let's use that side. It's got some extra marks on it. So let's go steady with the... Uh, this i'm not just not sure i think she said she overcooked it or they stuck together or something but it, they can be a little bit uh, more delicate than the the big pieces these she didn't call them outtakes i can't remember what she called them now the word's gone not seconds but gosh my glue stick's a bit dry and hard i can tell i haven't used that for three days or more i think we're all right Did I ink that? It doesn't look it, never mind. I'll have to ink it again. Ah, right. Did it get wetter than I thought it was going to on that glue stick? Let me use my, my roller. I thought it would be less wet than the Kalal. Maybe it is. Just adds to the distressed look as long as it... don't mind it looking not stuck as long as it is stuck. <laughs> I don't mind the wrinkles. I sometimes screw things up to put wrinkles in them. Yeah, that's it. And why did I? Yeah, I don't think I went in far enough. Well, these would be lovely pockets, just a envelopes just on their own, wouldn't they? I know I faffed about a bit, but so that way up because you're the opposite to that one. That's it. That's going that way. So let's see if we can. We need to glue that down first. No, we need to bend this first. Like that. Crease it. Yep. So that's the bit. Is that the bit that's been stuck down? It is. That's going down there. <laughs> I don't know. I have to keep reminding myself or I'd do something wrong. Yeah, so what I had done as well was started to uh, go through some more 
of my stash to put on Etsy now. I will still put it on later on today, but the chances are it won't. Well, I don't know about the postage. If, if you're in the UK, I'll post first class if you particularly want it for Christmas. I don't suppose you do want the feminine things for Christmas, but I'll put them in the Etsy anyway. And then if there are people wanting things to do over the Christmas holidays, things to play with, and uh, you know, it will get some more things out of my room. <laughs> that would be nice. Okay. So ink the edge and then what shall we have on here? And then we just need a piece of paper to go in them, don't we? I think that will be enough. Um, that way, Denise, that way, is that right? Yep, <laughs> to keep reminding myself. So I don't have any birds here, so maybe I can put one of my... Um, Let's have a look at those biggish ones again. They've flown away. And see if there's anything. This is just a, a packet of fussy cutting that I've done at some point, you know, downstairs, and uh, not put them into there. No. Mm. The various packets yet. <laughs> Where they belong. Did I just see an owl? No. A smallish bird. It's quite nice, a nice dark one. Or well, it's a really big one. I mean you don't get to use the really big ones very often, do you? Quite like him, he's going to have to have a background obviously, but yes, let's uh, maybe have one of those on it as well. But yeah. What shall we put behind him? On in that. So, I wonder what straw paper would look like. I've only got whole pieces at the minute, so. Oh, no, just one piece won't come out. I'll have to have the whole, the whole thing. Another file I've got out to put away. No. It's far too plain next to the plane, so I'm thinking book page. Yeah, I've got quite a quite an avalanche of stuff going on here now. Right, so these are all my old book pages. Now I've got new old book pages, if you see what I mean. I need to put some in here, don't I? I just want text. It sounds like my heating's coming on. That's good news. <laughs> Not that one. Nice small text. Electrostatics or some such thing. Yeah, no, I don't have any book page on there, so how much do we want? Just a yeah, just a torn piece, so oh tear's nice. Lovely. Wonder if I can tear the edge with this. Oh yeah. Oh well, you're just a piece of paper that keeps on giving. I'm really uh, loving the uh, vintage photo again. I used it, you know, when I first started crafting and then I went onto the, uh, the walnut and I'd forgotten just how lovely. It's got sort of a gingerish, not, not really ginger, but that gingerish hue to it that I really like. near his head. I think I might have wanted it bigger, I don't know. Um, or down. You are a big bird, aren't you? So 
So I'm going to have it down there and then a label. That will help, Denise. A label on top of it there and then him with his head above. And then we can have, yeah, it's sort of like a blank label. Um, excuse my arm all the time, but everything's in front. Well, these might be a bit too grungy, a bit too similar to the paper. Don't anything too fancy. I quite like that. Mm, one of those two, definitely. And a word, a word up top. Which we can get a nice black word to match the black bird. We've got discover. It's not backed onto anything, but we can soon do that. Let's just let me have a little dig so you can have a look with me. I just seen a black one. Was it friendship? I just saw. Where did you go? Oh, documented. That's nice because it's got some black printing behind it as well. Stamping, I mean. So. Put that down a little bit. Yeah. So, let me just, because I'm always just put roughly where I want that. <laughs> because I'm always choosing a place to put it, glue it, and then end up sticking it down somewhere completely different. I don't know why I'm telling you. I'm sure you've seen me do it many times. I don't want to do that this time because I want everything just where I planned it. Well, so, oh gosh, the power is low on my other phone now. What is it with my phones and batteries at the minute? I finally caught up on the comments as well, so you know I didn't I didn't get my comments done either for two days. So um, I'm sure it was only two days that I missed, but some of them said four days old. A couple of them, so I don't know if they came, you know, after I'd done my my comments on that day. So I did a day two. I don't know. Um, go away, that's it. But yeah, I'm, I'm caught up now. I'm pleased to say. So any comments that go on now, I will answer today. Neil's back at work, so I will be catching up on housework, you know, general housework, as well as my videos. <laughs> I like it. it's got a nice, oh, that's a bit, I want him higher at the top of there, yes. So I want his tail just on the bottom of that. It's got a nice white outline, I was going to say, that I've cut and I'm going to leave it white because it helps him stand out from the page. It's not a blackbird, I don't think. Is it a raven? I don't know, it could be a blackbird. I know blackbirds are not black. He has got other colours on him there. He's got greens and a bit of a shiny purple, which I know, oh, oh no, that way. <laughs> Well, that was very kind to me, wasn't it? That um, uh, glitter, because it let me move it. I had his beak hanging over. His beak's just on, but there's a bit of white that I can trim that's hanging over. Thank you. I just made it. <laughs> okay, let's tear this down a bit. Try not to rock the table while I'm doing it. Just take the corner off. No. Yeah, that's better. That dog-eared look that I love so much. I don't know that back there or up there. There, I think. Well, it took me longer than I thought it was going to. I thought we might get some pockets done as well, but, you know, there was quite a bit of faffing about to do, apart from choosing everything. 
I'm not very good at choosing everything out in advance and then just sitting down and doing it. Maybe one day. I know not all of you like to see that, so a good mixture. Can't get the couldn't get the hole. There we go. Right. So yes, it looks like we're just about out of time. So I'll glue that in there. No need to do it now on camera, is that? And I'll glue that in there and um yeah, I'll find some papers for next time just to tuck in both of them. Um, we might even have a word up there as well next time. And then we will just fill. So not tomorrow, because that uh, will be scraps. So maybe Monday. Finish it Monday. And glue that on. Let me, a little tie now, but I need to glue the back on, don't I? And yeah, it'll be a nice chunky journal when it's got all those bits in it that we're going to put in it okay i hope you enjoyed that it was lovely to be back um i apologize once again and yeah i'll see you see you tomorrow if you're about um hope you have a lovely day see you soon bye bye